So today I'm going to be using my iPad. I'm going to open up Cricut Design Space. Start a new project. Okay, we're going to go down where the text is and we're going to pick our font. Today I'm going to use the font Felix and I'm going to type in the words today I. And now I'm going to take that font and I'm going to change the color by going down to edit and where it says cut I'm going to change the black to a teal. Now I'm going to go into my web browser and I'm going to search for the Cricut Joy so here I'm just going to go into the images and I'm going to find a, an image of the Cricut Joy front view and I'm going to download that to my iPad And I'm going to come back into Cricut Design Space and I'm going to upload that photo into my project. Now I want to clear around the outer edge of the Cricut Joy so it gives the shape of the Cricut Joy. I'm going to save it as a print and cut so I could see where the word Cricut is on the front of the Cricut Joy. And I'm going to upload it into the project. Now here I will measure the Cricut Joy and I will make that the exact size of the actual Cricut Joy. Once you have it the size that you want, you want to put it towards the back. Now I can move the words today I into the space that I actually want to put it on the actual Cricut Joy. Now I want to go in and I want to upload the words choose joy that I had downloaded from the internet. It was a free image and as you can see it's an image so I need to clear out the background and in between all of the circles. So anywhere you see a white spot you want to click on it to remove the white. If you make a mistake you could just go back you could also zoom in if you can't get to the smaller circles. Once you've got your image to the way you want it to be, just check it out. Just go to next. Now you want to make sure that you save this as a cut image. And then you want to upload it onto your mat. Now here I'm going to size the words choose joy to fit in the space underneath the cricket word the word cricket that is on the cricket joy. Now I'm going to take those words and I'm going to change it to a different shade of the teal. I'm going to be cutting these both into two different types of material. So I want to give them two different shades so they're not on the same mat. Now you're going to choose you're going to go to make it and choose what mat you're using and I'm using a regular mat. Now I'm going to prepare my material.
Now we're going to go back into design space and we're going to go continue and it's going to find the Cricut Joy. So you want to connect to the Cricut Joy. And now you're going to choose materials. I like to go to all materials and stay under the category of compatible. Here you will see all of the materials that are compatible with the Cricut Joy. And we have quite a few different materials to choose from that we can cut with the Cricut Joy. So I'm going to search for the vinyl that I'm using. And I believe this is pearl vinyl. Now we're going to load our mat. And as you can see, it will automatically pull the mat in. It will make sure that we have the actual mat and that it's not matless. And then we have to hit uh, go. And then it will start cutting. Once cut is complete, you're going to unload. And then we're going to do our next mat. This particular vinyl is um, just a regular vinyl. So I'm just going to choose premium vinyl for this one. Now my scrap here is kind of small and it's just just the right size for this cut. So when you look at the mat, it looks like I might want to go over just a tiny bit to the right because you know it doesn't ever cut all the way to the left anyway. So we're just going to nudge it over a little bit. It go and now it will cut. Hit unload and it will automatically come out. Always make sure that you uh, return the cover sheet to the mat to keep the sticky from getting all kinds of hair and stuff on it. Now take your weeding tool and weed 
all the pieces that you are not going to use. I like to start from the corner and pull the biggest part around my image off first. Now you want to put some um, transfer tape on your image. This transfer tape came from Expressions Vinyl and I really like it, but sometimes it doesn't really stick real well. Here I'm kind of struggling to get the letters removed from the backer paper. As you can see, I finally got the words to stick. Well, a few of the letters anyway, of the words. So I'm just going to place those down where I want them to be. And then I'm just going to carefully add the letters that I had difficulty sticking to the transfer paper. I do not recommend doing it this way. So for the next uh, words, choose joy, I am going to use Cricut transfer paper. Okay, so we all make mistakes. Back to the drawing board, let me pull that off and pull out that little piece that I missed weeding. Once you have your placement, you want to rub it down and pull off the transfer tape. Now I didn't originally want to use Cricut transfer tape because it's usually really too sticky, but in this case it turned out perfect. I really love my design. It's quite simple. And there you have it. Thank you for watching.